another Samuel Fuller movie and number 116 in the Masters of Cinema series is Forty Guns. Now this is right in my wheelhouse, a western movie that I had seen before filled with whip smart dialogue from Fuller himself who just it's a trademark of his and I kind of love this movie. It's simple and it's kind of premise but a little bit complicated as we get into the dealings of the Brunel brothers. These guys, these US Marshals who ride into this small uh, West Texas town to arrest somebody who has been uh, guilty of robbing the mail train and they discover that this is part of Jessica Drummond's gang. She is a rancher who kind of runs the territory with an iron fist. She is the wealthiest woman there and kind of uses that to influence and maximise her power. And one of the guys is working for her and the Brunel brothers go to arrest them and it pretty much becomes a, a butting of heads between these characters. You know, nobody really um, disregards her authority and these guys ride into town and they are not going to take uh, anything to do with her money. They're not interested, they just want uh, the person that they've been sent there to get and that kind of it makes her curious and antagonistic against these guys because right from the start one of the Brunel brothers uh, takes out her brother when he's drunk and disorderly in the street creating more tension between these characters. Now we have these three Brunel brothers who all start to uh, kind of embed themselves in this town. They kind of like it. They're getting to that point in their life where the you know the idea of settling down, of putting down roots, it, it seems very good. You know they've, they've lived a life. It's been dangerous. They're wanting to settle down a little bit, and you kind of see that throughout the movie. And the more these Brunel brothers stay within this town, the more you see the corruption and the negativity caused by Jessica Drummond. And it's one of these characters played by Barbara Stanwyck, who initially I just didn't like. She had this uh, egocentric uh, demeanour about herself. She was the focal point of all of these men. She is the focal point of this whole town. And it had obviously gone to her head. And the fact that one of these brothers just didn't care uh, was kind of curious to her. And the more the movie goes on, the more we see that character open up a little bit. And where I thought we were going to have the good guys, the bad guys, they both start to draw lines in the sand, but then begin to cross it. You know, uh, Jessica Drummond's character opens up. She shows why she is as harsh and as cold-blooded as she is, but is willing to change. And we see the brothers kind of open up. One finds love. One kind of has that youthful exuberance and puts himself into situations he shouldn't be. And the older, wiser one kind of comes to realise that maybe he can't change. He wants to, but this is just the lifestyle that he's in and he's becoming antiquated for the time, something that's no longer required. And he feels that within himself as well as having uh, the sort of trauma of what he's done throughout his life but it's all painted in this terrifically quick fast paced action year western which is just wonderfully enjoyable you get a couple of uh, uh, songs throughout the movie that, that allude to things that are going on within the characters you get a wonderful tornado sequence as the, the older Brunel uh, brother and Jessica Drummond get kind of stuck within it and have to harbour shelter which is where they really kind of open up to each other. You get an absolute fantastic finale to this which I was a little bit worried about how they were going to close it off but I found the ending to be utterly delightful and this is just a rip-roaring western adventure, great dialogue great characters, some fantastic action, something I didn't really touch on. The shootouts, the way they're set up and played out are terrifically wonderful. There is a moment that is just filled with tension and suspense as Fuller really plays with us, letting us uh, believe something is going to happen, uh, which I really can't go into because I thought it was a wonderful sequence. Forty Guns, tremendous movie. Absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. Not as great as Pick Up in South Street, but that's my kind of movie. Forty Guns was great. Highly recommended. I loved it. I'd love to know your opinion of this one. This, uh, let me know in the comment box below. 
We'll see you next time on Man V Film. <laughs>